I'm Rob and welcome to Russell Ranch. Today we are showing you the Champion 34 ton log splitter and giving you a little bit of a review on it. The reason why we got the, the Champion, it was at Home Depot, and there's other brands to pick from out there, but uh, we wanted something, the ability to split like oak, juniper, some heavy hardwoods, and the good thing about it is it will go through, it hasn't uh, failed us yet on, on splitting. How you cycle it, you push forward on this to bring the cycle in, and it has an auto return on it. If your logs aren't 17 to 18 inches, you can stop the return and return it quickly. Like on hardwoods and so forth, they'll split real easy. As soon as you get into the split, it will actually break apart all the way through so you can cycle it back. So you don't have to use the full range of the cycle. Anyways, getting to the table. The one thing I did not like about the Champion is it had this little piece right here that I modified would sit off to the side. You get a 24 inch round log and get it up here, split the first one. You gotta take the piece that you're not using, set it on the ground, split the piece that you're using, and then pick the other piece back up. Well, when you get older like me, I ain't gonna be bending over back and forth and trying to pick heavy logs up. So I built this table and used the piece that was actually here for the, for the table and put it off to the side. But it's all built out of... So originally this piece right here was here. Correct. Right? Yeah. So what you did is you took this piece off and incorporated it into your table. Yeah, then we had this whole table. So now if we have a 24 inch log, we can split it, set off the piece off to the side. And that way I don't have to pick it back up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all built out of real rugged steel. This will hold like five, six, seven hundred pounds on top of this. It's um, bolted to the actual frame, the I-beam that the hydraulics sit on. Um, if it needs to come off, you, we can take it off. It still will work in the horizontal position like this, but also in the vertical position, meaning when it's standing up, the table doesn't get in the way of the wheel wells or the tank, the uh, hydraulic tank that's down but, below. And so, this table also protects most of your important stuff, right? It does. Like Rob's saying, it, this piece here that was part of the champion on the side here, we put off to the end of the table so logs couldn't roll off onto the actual um, motor, gas tank, your air, the air filter and so forth. So it does protect it from, from this area and also your uh, tank and wheel wells below. So if it fell off, it'd fall off onto the ground or on your foot. What I like about the Champion, I mean, the price was reasonable. It starts up, runs great, cycles great. You can do uh, quite a few cords with it fairly quickly. Um, the only thing I didn't like was the table, the, the setup table. It was way, way too small and uh, didn't uh, perform well. So if you wanted to have a small uh, operation to split wood and sell it, this would probably be a good little starter unit to have. Um, you can split a couple of cords fairly quickly with it. One dislike that I would add is the handles when you're trying to pick it up here or when you're trying to um, rotate it to stand it up. They're a little small and they kind of dig into your handle. The only thing I would do different is make the handles bigger so it's easier to grab onto and they're smooth. But when you're wearing gloves, it really doesn't bother you at all. There's a lot of choices out there for log splitters. I mean, this was something that was here in Arizona that we were able to get our hands on fairly quickly. It uh, is performed well so far. Uh, there's only one other modification I'd make to this is on the opposite side, on this side here, is you have your um, hydraulic tank, your filter, and hydraulic hoses, and, and all your operations for your um, hydraulics. If something rolls off on this side, it's going to damage it. I want to build something on this side to protect it as well, but try to also keep it out of the way of the operator, because this is where you stand when you really operate it. So we'd have to do something within this area here so nothing would roll off. Probably I haven't had the problem so far, but uh, nevertheless, it could happen in the future. Probably something down low, you know, not much of a table, right. but something that's lower to protect the hoses. And one other thing that I read on there is that the older 
versions, I guess not the older versions, but the pre-2018 versions of these have a problem with this hydraulic line that goes through the filter that it can pop off. So if it's in the horizontal position like this, if it pops off under pressure, it can spray right at you and some of that stuff can get pretty hot and burn you. If it's in the vertical position, when it pops off, it sprays that way. So if you have a pre-2018 version, make sure you add that hose to your maintenance check. And there was one video that we watched and he just ruined almost a whole cord of wood when that thing broke. He had it in the vertical, <laughs> he had it in the vertical position when he was um, splitting wood, which is probably good for him because when it broke, the hose basically went out behind him this way. If it's in the horizontal like this, who knows what that hose is going to do. It uses a two inch ball for dragging behind your truck, your tractor, or a quad, or a side-by-side, -side, and you can take it anywhere you want to. It's also light enough in the front that you can pick it up and maneuver it if you need to. Um, of course, if you're older or not as physically fit, I wouldn't recommend it because it might hurt your back, but it's easy to maneuver around on a small area, but also super easy to hook up and drag it anywhere you want to. I would say one thing, though. I would say anywhere. It's it's really not meant to go out on the main highways. Yeah, it doesn't have <laughs> license. It doesn't have a license plate. It's not really for the highway itself, but around the farm, around the ranch. And it does have low clearance, so make sure you're watching when you're dragging behind you. You don't you don't high side anything. <laughs> you do because the whole bottom of the is sitting on the actual hydraulic tank itself. So you you hit the hoses or you hit the tank. That's a lot of fluid to actually have to replace. Yeah. So it's not going any high rocks, it's not going to hit the frame, it's going to hit the hydraulic tank. Yeah. So be careful of that. Well, let's get over there and get the splitting. I'll show you how this thing works. Are you ready to get started? Yep, got to start it up first. I mean, you can see we split, I don't know, five or six logs fairly quickly with that little effort at all. Um, the table works great, where you, as you can see, you split the bigger logs, you put the piece off to the side, continue splitting, and then pull the rest of it on and throw your logs off to the side as you, uh, or your pieces off to the side after you get them split. But. All right, well, that was our review on the Champion 34 ton log splitter and our modification. I have another video on the modification that goes a little bit more in depth, so you guys can go check that out. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.